It looks pretty cool. You can just dip, 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 stab people with it. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Balkans Weapons mod which adds in a whole host of new medieval themed weapons into your game. So all of these have different uses within combat, some with special abilities, some without so let's get straight to it. And there's five different categories, we've got melee weapons, we've got throwing weapons, we've got shooting weapons and we have some little miscellaneous weapons over here. So let's go straight into it with the melee weapons and actually first off I'm going to show you this which is the training dummy which we're going to use some of our weapons on for fun and this is a kind of like a cool feature you can hit it and it won't die at all you can craft it and let me just show you how to do that so what you do is you get one piece of leather tunic and then you have any color wool so you can have any color pink black white any one you like Two wheat and a stick will give you this training dummy and you can place him down and he won't die from anything. So all melee hits, he'll just kind of shake here which is a nice little effect. And he's just kind of like a thing to train and use all your weapons on. The only thing that he does die from is fire. So if you set him on fire he will die because he's, you know, he's made of wood. And um, explosions he will die as well and if he falls from a high place. So I don't know how he'd do that because he doesn't really move. But you know, that is the training dummy and we'll be using him later. Probably for some of these. So this is the melee box and in here we've got... We're going to start with the Iron Spear, and most of these, if not all, can be made in all of the kind of styles. So you've got wooden ones, you've got iron ones, diamond, gold, all of the traditional materials that you can use. So the first one we've got is the Spear, and this is a melee weapon and kind of a throwing weapon too, and it's really easy to make. All you need is two sticks and a piece of iron, and we'll grab this and show you what it does. So you can hit stuff with it, so we can just come up in here and... Ugh. Uh, uh, as you can see what I mean and you can also throw it so you can oh god oh god I didn't think it would do that so you right click and it will just throw it straight out there which is pretty sweet and you can pick them up again which is a really nice feature so you, can, you only really need one of these you can go and um go and pick it up and then yeah reuse it which is awesome so it doesn't do too much damage but it is a nice alternative to have a long range and a short range weapon so up next is the halberd and the hull is it halberd or halberd halberd so what you need for this is three iron so same similar to the recipe we just looked at you need two sticks and the three iron in kind of like an arrow shape you'll get the halberd and this has two different attacking styles so this is the normal mode the swinging mode and it'll just kind of hit the hit everything that you you smack with it and then you can right click into a stabbing mode so the difference between the two is um, this mode will actually have quite a bit of knockback so as you can see that's got knockback on it there and if we switch to stabbing mode it will have less knockback but it will have more power so we'll kill the pig there and it won't go far at all so that is a really cool feature and just allows for more attacking options and duh, this is really fun this is an awesome idea so moving on and we've got what have we got here we've got the iron knife now this one is actually able to be thrown as well and looks pretty cool you can just dip, 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 stab people with it so let's uh, stab up this one here and oh yes it's stabbing real nice and let's use it on a living thing as well so here comes the pig the iron one takes two stabs in a pig to kill it and you can also throw it as well so the animation for this does look pretty damn sweet and you can pick these up too so you don't need too many of these if you've got like five of them you can just spam them out and then go and pick them up and do it again so if we throw these it's quite hard to aim you just need to get used to the aiming but let's try it on a piggy here Oh, yes, you take that, Mr. Pig. Yes. So, this is really cool. It's, um, yeah, that's it's a knife that you throw. That's pretty sweet. So, moving on. And next up, we have the Iron Battle Axe. So, let's go over to here. This is where the stuff gets pretty intense. The Battle Axe ignores armor and it also does more damage to wood. So, if you hit wood with this in survival mode, it kind of works like a normal axe, but is better. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It doesn't really do much else. It's just a better weapon for you. So, let's move it on. And it's a better tool as well. So, it's kind of like a dual ability. Up next, we have the Iron Warhammer, and I'm not showing you how to create these. So the Battle Axe, you need quite a bit more iron. You're going to need five iron and two sticks. And then for the Warhammer, you're going to need two iron and... No, you're going to need two iron on each side and then three sticks down the middle to make the Warhammer. Now, the Warhammer will actually do some pretty decent damage to blocks. So if you um, hit a block with this, it will do a lot of damage. So you can mine stuff a lot quicker with it. And if you hold the right click, it's supposed to charge up and do like a smash into the floor. And it was working, but now for some reason it just isn't. I don't know why that is. But um, yeah, I'll show you the damage it does to a pig. And it has the knockback effects too, which is really sweet. So you can knock things really far away while you are battling them. So I don't know why it's not working. It was working earlier, but I don't know why it's not. Come on, charge. Charge, go on, shake it, shake it, shake it. 
no, it's not working. So I'm just going to have to show you a different weapon instead, which is the last of the melee weapons, which is the iron flail. And for this, you're going to need similar to a fishing rod, but with a piece of iron on the end to make the iron flail. And this is like one of those spiky balls that you swing around your head. Yes. So if we right click, we've got this spiky ball following us and then we can just, you know, swing it at people. So if you, duh, there we go. There we go. Swung it right at him. So let's try it with the pig here. It, it kind of like you need to activate it first and then you need to right click to swing it to, dip, 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 dip. there we go it's pretty strange but it does look damn sweet and now we are going to move on to the throwing weapons and these get more interesting as we move along so the throwing weapons but again with the javelin which is similar to the one we looked at earlier but it uses flint instead and gives you two javelins and these will run out you can't pick these up again and you have to charge these up like a bow and arrow instead of just throwing them so that's uh there we go. Oh, it bounced straight off him. And they're a bit by they're a bit bigger as well. So let's try it on a pig. And here we go. There we go. So they're not actually that powerful. Oh no, he's going way too fast right now. Stop panicking. Stop, stop panicking. There we go. So they're not too powerful. I think it takes about three shots to kill a pig. Yeah, three shots. So they're not too great, but they are fairly cheap. So that's kind of like a, a really nice deal we've got there. So next up, we've got something interesting called dynamite. So it's kind of like a less powerful TNT that you can throw. And um, two gunpowder and a piece of string will give you two dynamite. So let's try this over here. I'm not going to throw it near the dummy. Let's just, there you go. It has like a little spinning animation, which is looking cool and then explodes like a kind of equal or it's kind of a bit less than TNT. So that is a really cool thing. And it's, it's going to be useful in battle. If you have like a lot of mobs chasing after you, just be like, damn, get away. Oh, no, I threw two. Just get away from me. Damn. And then you can just blow them up. So that's pretty sweet. And if you throw two, it will be equal to like a normal size TNT. So moving on after clearing up this mess. And we have some more throwing weapons, which will continue with the boomerang. So the boomerang. Oh god, let's put this away. The boomerang needs four different types of wood. They can be any types of woods you want, as you can see here, and a piece of iron. And this works kind of like a bow and arrow. So let's charge it up, throw it, and it will come straight back to you. Come here, come here. Ah oh, yes, the animation is looking pretty sweet. So let's try try this out again. I'll see if I can catch the animation. Look at that. It's nice 3D rendered and works very, very nice. So we can hit the the test dummy over here. Oh no, I missed, I missed. How did I miss? Oh, we can hit the sheep over. This is a pig, sir. This is a pig. We can hit the pig over here. So let's do this. Don't move. I swear, don't move. Oh, yes. We can hit that guy real nice. So that is the boomerang. And now we can move over to the shooting weapons where things get even more interesting. So here we go. We've got a bit more complicated um, recipes for this. So first up, to make the musket, which is like the standard gun, you're going to need a gun stock and a musket barrel. So to make the musket barrel, you're going to need two sticks and some oak wood planks to make the stock. And then you need the musket barrel, which needs a flint and steel and three iron to create to make the musket. And the musket just needs the musket barrel on top of the gun stock to create the musket. And you're also going to need some musket rounds because you need ammo to fire these things. And you're going to need one piece of iron, one gunpowder and a paper to make the musket round. Now, these are really powerful guns if you're familiar with muskets in general, but they take a little longer to reload. So if you hold right click. It will click a little bit and then you can fire it. Oh, damn. It gives knockback as well. So that is really awesome. And we're going to try it out on Mr. Picky here. So you need to right click. It's kind of like a two second reload and then hold it and fire. Oh, yes, you die, Mr. Piggy. So that is a pretty sweet weapon, and it's fairly accurate as well. And I, I like the, the little kickback thing you get, and the reload system is really smart too. So let's just fire this again. And the more you hold it, the more powerful the shot, or the more accurate the shot will be. So that was sweet. So moving on a little bit, you can actually upgrade your musket a little bit more by having a bayonet on the end. So you just add the knife from earlier to the musket in the crafting table, and you'll be able to have a musket that not only you can shoot with, but you can stab with. So, duh, duh. so I only take two shots to kill a pig, which is sweet. So it's kind of like the iron knife and the ability to shoot all in one. So that is sweet. Next up, we've got the crossbow. Now, to make the crossbow, you're going to need a bow, four iron, and two wood. And this is cool. You're going to need a crossbow bolt as well, which you need a feather and iron ingot to make four kind of crossbow ammo. And this one is cool too. So this is another shooting weapon. And you have to right-click to load it again. And then, bam, oh, mine was already loaded. So if you right-click, it will kind of shield across your face. And it has a little bit of a quicker reload time than the musket, but is less powerful. But the more you hold this, the more accurate it will be. And it's more accurate than a bow, as you would imagine, and more powerful as well. Did you see that? I one-shot that pig like a boss. So let's do that again. Let's right-click, charge it up, and then right-click. Hold it all the way to the back to get the most accurate and most powerful shot. And knock that pig straight 
out. So let's um, go back over and we've got some more shooting weapons to have a look at, which is the poison dart and the more upgraded musket. So the poison dart, you're going to need a blowgun to fire. So for a blowgun, you're going to need three sugar cane. So really cheap. You just need to knock down one fully grown um, sugar cane plant for that. And you're also going to need a poisonous dart as ammo for that. You're going to need a stick a cactus and a feather and that will give you four darts so let's see how this works this dart doesn't actually deal damage you're just going to have to um poison it and when you do kind of charge it up it will reload as with most of the weapons in this mod and then you hold right click and see how far you can pull it back and when you get to the maximum you can fire it with most accuracy and there we go the pig is poisoned and it won't actually kill the pig as poison doesn't really kill stuff it will just bring it down to just half a heart and then you can punch it to kill it because the the darts don't actually do any damage so that's pretty sweet and um yeah it's pretty awesome especially when you're trying to combine weapons together you can just kind of poison them first and then finish them off with something else so let's put this one back because it's fairly dangerous and next up we're going to have the blunderbuss which is kind of like an upgrade to the musket and for this you're going to need a blunderbuss barrel which needs a flint and steel and four steel in this little pattern here it's a bit strange but it is very nice and then you attach it to the gun stock from earlier instead of using the other one we created you use the blunderbuss barrel instead and you're going to need different ammo for this one as well you need a blunderbuss shot which needs gravel gunpowder and paper and we'll give you eight ammo and for this this is pretty sweet this is one which can just fire out a whole load of pellets at the same time so this fires out 10 normal musket pellets at the same time we'll take a little bit longer to reload and charge up and bam more knockback or kickback whatever it's called and we're gonna fire at these pigs here so let's charge this up reload and fire don't move Oh yes, look at that. We've got multiple kills at the same time. It is a pretty powerful weapon. If you're in like a zombie horde or something, this is going to be extremely powerful. You can't run, Piggy. You cannot run. So that is a very sweet weapon. Probably my favorite gun in this mod, apart from one that we get to near the end and is really, really useful. It's fairly more expensive than the other ones, but I really like the reload feature and the way that you can just kill multiple things at the same time that the sounds are really nice too so let's move on to i think that's the last one in the shooting and now we're going to get on to some other weapons we've got two more i believe we do it's the fire rod now the fire rod is a single use weapon you need a torch with two sticks and the pigs will come in fairly handy here and what you can do is set things on fire it's a single use you just hit it with it and it will set it on fire so this is a way to get instant cooked pork chops just watch him watch him die so in normal um survival mode this will just um be used up straight away um but it's a, it's a fairly cheap weapon all you need is two sticks and a torch and you can get instant cooked meat i got three pork chops for that which is sweet and you can also set other stuff on fire and prepare it for more damage later on so get on fire mr pig i want some of that real nice bacon so give me the bacon don't look at me with those eyes don't look at me with those eyes don't make me feel guilty i feel guilty now but ah. Uh, the pork chop it's so beautiful so let's move on to one of the biggest weapons and probably one of my favorites of the mod the cannon so you've actually got a cannon in this mod which is sweet and to make it you're going to need five bits of iron in this little shape here a flint and steel and a piece of wood which hasn't been crafted into planks and you're also going to need some cannonballs too so we need five cooked stone for this which is i guess it's fairly cheap and cannonballs as well so we're actually going to need to fetch some gunpowder because we need, obviously, we need something to fire this cannon with. So let's grab a stack of that. Grab the cannon and the cannonballs too. And we're going to place this down. So you take it and you right click it onto the ground. You get this sweet looking cannon model. It's looking really, really nice. And then you have to right click to kind of sit on the end or be um, controlling the end. And then you're going to have to right click the, um, oh no. You have to right click with gunpowder. Oh my god, why is it jumping? That is not good. Right click with a cannonball. So it is ready to fire. And it's glitching out a little bit. And you hold shift to fire. Ah, oh, yes. That was sweet. So what you do is you kind of like right click it with gunpowder to take it up. Or you have to have gunpowder in your inventory. I'm not sure which one. It's, it's, um, it's, this is very new to me. So let's take this. No, we don't need that. We need the, the cannonball to try this out again. Let's take 64 of them. So you just have to have... Looks like you just have to have gunpowder in your inventory. Get onto this. Wait a few seconds. Right click with the um, cannonball. And this is glitching out a little bit. Not too sure why. Probably because it's got kind of like... A thing that detects where you're looking so if you want to fire it high you need to fire it like this and you want to fire it low you fire it like this let's try and take out this here so what you do is you right click with a cannonball with gunpowder in your inventory and it will take it off you need to wait a couple of seconds and then hold the sneak key or the shift key whichever one you prefer and 
bam it will also cause damage to the environment so this is really really nice and it's got a really nice model on it as well and you just imagine this in survival world you've got zombies you've got creepers coming at you and you can just blow their face off and i think that is pretty much what this mod has to offer it's really cool for those fans of medieval style weapons and really cool looking guns and stuff it gives you more throwing stuff, attacking stuff, and shooting stuff, and this awesome cannon too. So if you do like what you see and want to play it for yourself, then please go to the description below to check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and goodbye!